Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got a user by the name of A36 who has submitted a system. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. So the, yeah, their name's A36 but on Discord it's just the letter P. I think that's due to that new update where you have to put like a certain name in for your pro I don't know what it is actually it's a bit weird but anyways so where are we we need to go to workshop it should really be on there for us at the bottom there it is okay what have we got so Lekapus and Coolio's binary star system this is a binary star system placed in the fictional galaxy of Mentor 933 there are planets and moons okay so here we go all right so the Coolio star system set is here. Okay, what do we got? So the star itself looks bigger than the sun mass-wise. Yep, okay, two masses of sun, bigger in radius, 44 luminosity. Okay, right. So the first of the planets here, so Sisties. It has a moon very dangerously close to it. Oh my god, that'll get torn to shreds. Right, anyways. So, only planet from two suns that is supporting very smart life, with bases on many names here, and it has a moon named Apri that looks like a normal moon. The planet has futuristic life, and many countries started space crams, mostly Republic of Wellies and the Kingdom of Andria. So, there we go. Okay. Cool. And they also, um, I think the guy said, um, my English is not the best, I'm Polish. Ah, okay, excellent. Cool. Right, so yeah, we'll cut him some slack. <laughs> right, anyways, yeah, thank you for submitting. Right, so. Oh, there's a satellite here as well, okay. Oh, it's a James Webb, E. Cool. Okay, next up we got uh, Macus. That is here. So it's a. Uh, Coldy normal sized planet with frozen water on it and potential atmosphere. It is not proved because of the harsh weather and cold temperatures here. Okay, cool. Maybe it's a live candidate in the future. Who knows? But there it is. Okay, and it has a moon, or not a moon, a satellite around it as well. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay, next up, we have got this object here. Kyges. It was the first gas shine that was discovered in the Coolio star system and it has a mass of four Jupiters and it's protected from the comets and asteroids just like Jupiter. But without moons, it was having two moons but both of them crashed into the planet because it was getting mass and just ate it. That's what has the colours. Okay. So it had two moons collide with it and that's the responsible for the band colours. Alright. And it has another uh, probe around it. Okay. Next up we got this one. Fekeds. Oh, God, that's a tough one to say. <laughs> okay, so it's um, it's second, much smaller than the last gas giant. It's pretty much ate it. Oh, hang on. That's the same one, isn't it? Oh, that's a different one. Okay, no matter that. Um, so, okay, so it has a similar story to the other gas giants. It consumed its moons and it has gold in its core. Okay, cool. And there's another probe around it. Okay, next up we've got Bont. Is there any description for this guy, or don't know if there is. So we go from. So next up, we go to this one. Actually, the description is saying this one. Okay. So the third gas giant. Third gas giant never had moons. It got kicked out the star system. Okay. So it's been on the edge of the system now. Okay. And it looks like yeah, there's no description for the planet Bont here. So there it is there. So a very frozen world by the looks of things. But it's at 25 degrees apparently. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. And it has a moon as well. Bond A. There you go. Cool, cool. Quite far away from the parent. Look, you can barely see it. But it is there. Alright. Nice. There's a telescope Mary and Chemistal. Now, two spacecraft sent by humans from Sisties to take amazing photos of this star system and other star system. It's also telescope Mary's, but it got pulled to one place and it orbits closer than other spacecrafts. Okay, cool. So that's all of the objects around the main of 
first star. So now we're moving on to the second star. Ooh. Lekka. Lekpas? Over here. Okay, so it's a pink shaded star. Alrighty. So. Is it bigger than the other star? 12 radius of sun, two masses. Yeah, it's bigger and brighter by the looks of things. Okay, so the first of the planets. Triffy. It's a normal planet with a very big atmosphere. You can't land here. And temperature on its surfaces is very big. It also has a moon. Uh, this moon was created with space dust after other planets hit Triffy. It actually discovered it actually has discovered second moon Blissa. It has a thick atmosphere, but the rest is looking like Mars. It is like Mars, okay. So there it is there, moon, and then if we look underneath the atmosphere, there you go. Cool. And it's got a little bit of an eclipse going on at the moment. Second moon as well. Over here. So a greenish world. Okay. Cool. So next up we're moving to Bercy. Over here. Another gas giant. A gas giant mostly pink and purple because of its star orbits. Uh, that is a purple giant. Bercy is pretty normal gas giant except it was made from Rocky Planet. It was kicked out of its star system. Um, like the one in Coolios, it got into a place where tons of hydrogen, it got transformed into a gas giant and pulled here. It has three moons. One's a very small moon, big moon, and small, okay, small and normal. So, there's the moons there. Well, that one is enormous. Look how big it is in that region. Something tells me that their gravity would definitely interact and slingshot each other around a bit. That's for sure. Okay. Next up, we've got this one. Yatasi. Yatasi. It's a normal rocky planet looking like Mars, but it's not as uh, harsh. I think it means harsh. And it's a pretty solid, and you can easily survive here with a base. Uh, there are currently four bases on this planet. It has 3,000 inhabitants. And also, it has a moon, Sunny Yu, that is having small atmosphere but has water. So there are seven bases on Sunny Yu, and it has 6,000 inhabitants. Okay, cool. And then there's the moon as well. Cool, cool. Alright, and there's another one over here. Another uh, space uh, space station, okay. Next up, we've got Perhesi. It's two gas giant in... The second gas giant, I think he means, in the star system. It has a purple colour because light from its host star reflecting on it. Um, as Perhesi is a normal gas giant. Nothing special, but has one moon. It has a bad orbit around it for unknown reasons. The moon looks smaller. The moon looks like smaller Mars, and it has a smaller Mars. And it, the moon looks like smaller Mars, and it is smaller Mars. Okay, well there it is there. So okay, cool. Uh, where are we going next? Labels. Are the labels okay? And then orbits. Um. I think it's probably this one. Yeah, La, La Palnox. It's the only planet that has a ring system. Ring. The only planet that has ring in this binary star system. It's very small and looks like Venus without an atmosphere, but the temperature here is small. There's no ring system, unfortunately. Oh, well. Um, about the star, Lekapas, it's the only discovered purple dwarf star, and it's very bright, and Kulios is just a normal star. The binary system is an S-type, but that's all for now. Okay. So we've also got this object here. It doesn't seem to have a mention down here. Whoa, what is this? This world looks like it's been uh, ripped to shreds. What's going on here? Whoa. Mass kilograms. It's like a... I don't know what this is. It's no surface. It's a gas world of some kind. That's a strange. That's a mystery what that is. Almost feels like a black hole of that sort of size numbers. It's very strange. Okay. Anyways, moving on, we got this one here. So, Exis, the newest planet discovered, and that was created here, formed around nine million years ago. While the whole system has been billions of years. It's a blue gas giant. That's all we know. Okay. Looks like the Planet Nine template. Nice. Cool, cool. And then lastly, is that is that everyone? Bont a Bont. Oh, Bont. We we saw that one earlier. That was back around this star, wasn't it? So, there it is. 
New planet discovered in the system has one moon and it is a water planet, a very thick atmosphere. It has one moon, it's not too important, that's all we know for now. Okay, cool. So that is the Le Capas and Kulos binary star system. So there we go. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of the system, A36, for sending this system in. Um, hope you guys all enjoyed this and yeah, that all said and done guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. It helps in the journey to 30,000 subscribers as well as we are less than 200 people away. We are getting so close. Uh, it's absolutely amazing stuff. It's, we're, our goal is try and grab it before the end of the month. That would be absolutely amazing. So make sure to press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And actually, before we finish up, let's just get the full lineup. So yeah, the purple one is the biggest star there. And there's the lineup of everybody else. So, yeah, very, very nice indeed. But, yeah, if that all said done, guys, make sure you all stay safe up there. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.